Hello and welcome. This is a short video about a new tool. It's a Lua script, fly with Lua script called X Enhancer. You can get it on the forum explain.org. And it's a very simple script with about 10 lines where certain parameters of the cloud and sort of weather generation or visualization um, are changed and uh, I just went through the various uh, weather situations that we can call up here in uh, explain 12 it's for explain 12 only I have to say um, and it is supposed to improve the clouds and I thought uh, the best way to show this to you is by just going and uh, comparing first with the other. I actually made screenshots of all the weather situations in this position uh, from, uh, from this, uh, uh, it's not the clear one, not the, the, the no clouds and, and uh, fair weather, uh, it's the second um, I started with because that's the first one where we can actually see something like clouds showing up. Um, this is what they look without the enhancement and uh, just to Prove to you, I've made a screenshot of that, all right? So, now let's do the following. The script, I have activated it. It's a Lua script. I'm going to reload Lua and that will make this script work. And now we see what happens. So, so what you can see already is that the clouds have become a little bit um, bigger. Um, they're not as flimsy. I have a feeling that there are more of them, or maybe that's impression, um, because they got bigger as well. So the guy who made this, this script kind of tweaked around on the standard settings. And now I'm going to show you very quickly, this is what it looked before, and this is what it looks now. Before, yeah, you, you can see here, so they seem to be I don't know if it's more, but they are more more visible, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's not a drastic uh, revolutionary change, but I think they definitely look better in my, for me personally. So next thing we do is we go to flight configuration, we go to VFR scattered. This is now the modified. I always have to remind you this is the modified version. And this was what it looked before. Uh, hang on. No, no, that's actually not true. <laughs> hang on. We need to go to the next picture. Um, how do you do that? Ah, yeah. With them. So, yeah, that's the next picture. And now look at this. And I have to say, um, this looks much, much better. I think that uh, whatever changes she made, uh, makes this appear far more realistic in my view than this. This is a little bit, how should I call it? In German, I would say unaufgeräumt. <laughs> it just a bit sort of, it looks a bit torn and, and I don't know. I, I, I never really liked this way because this is not how, it could be that on some days you have clouds like this. But this, to me, looks actually more realistic. I may be wrong, you know, and, 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 and with clouds, clouds are um, a random thing, so you, you can't really say. But this looks, in my eyes, it looks much better than uh, uh, the original. And it's only a few settings, so that's something that uh, Lamina could actually <laughs> put in as default. So this is now the next level. Okay, so this was it looks here. You, you can already see that the clouds have become more dense and therefore uh, they start to get dark here at the lower side. Uh, and there are some shadows being thrown because I have full shadows on. This actually looks not bad. Now let's see what that was in before. So, yeah, um, what we seem to get is that in this case, we would have more clouds, 
um, in this case we have less clouds, but we have it sort of, um, it's it looks like a bit cleaned up sky. Uh, it's, not, it's not all over the place. Now, again, how to say, I actually do like this. I prefer this to this, yeah, to this more chaotic. Whether or not this is realistic, this could be the more the more realistic, um, uh, but this is definitely the one that, in my eyes, looks better. All right. Again, personal taste, and uh, definitely you do not have to um, use this, but uh, just wanted to show you and compare. Um, so this is the enhanced uh, VFR. What, what, no, no, was a marginal VFR. And uh, let's see, this is... Now here I'm kind of a bit torn because in this, or in this, although, I mean, when you look at this, this is the original, it's one big gray thing. You don't really see any structure in the clouds, but that could be because of the way clouds are, are drawn or what kind of clouds are drawn. Um, but here I see just basically just one gray something. Yeah. And here we can actually see some structure in the clouds. Again, I do actually prefer this because the sky is not uniformly gray. Um, usually, uh, unless we have fog, you would see some kind of structures in the clouds. So this to me, again, it looks more, well, I can't say realistic, but it looks, for me, it looks better, personally. All right, so next. The next one is probably, um, doesn't really matter which one, it's IFR non-precision. Um, you have basically fog and uh, yeah, and, and it's actually, there is not a lot of difference on this one, okay. Let's go to the next one, which is the um, IFR precision. Again, here, um, well, what you can see is some structure in the fork. Yeah, there's a little bit of structure in the fork, and the original looks like this. And here, I have to say, the original and, and the modified version, yeah, to me, they look similar. There's different cloud structures because mainly what, what the script does is it changes the structure of the clouds that are shown and, and the distribution, um, which I prefer to the modified. The modified I preferred here, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. So when you have this kind of weather scenario, the enhancement wouldn't, wouldn't be really visible. Now we come to the next, convective. And so this is what the possible thunderstorms that haven't reached you yet look like, modified. And this is what they looked um, before. And here I'm a little bit torn. Yeah. Um, one thing I realized with the script is that we seem to not have clouds or buffers with the script. Whereas uh, without the script, there are also clouds that at least reach further, further towards us. I'm not sure if this is something that the setting does, but um, yeah, um, I wouldn't be so sure which one I would prefer. Again, this looks more like a frontal thing. And to me, again, I would actually prefer this modified view, but this one is okay as well, although I can also see that he made some changes to the structure and the graininess and, and things of the clouds, um, which I personally find good, but I couldn't tell you whether this is more realistic or not. It's, it's more a matter of taste. Do you like the clouds as they are in the modified or in, in this version? All right. And finally, we'll go to the last one, which is the nightmare weather large cell thunderstorms. And uh, this is what it looks uh, here. And here I'm not 100% sure if this way of showing, by the way, the, when I did it uh, the first time around, um, 
it looked better actually in the modified version. So in this particular one, um, and this here definitely I didn't like. I didn't like the way that that um, the thunderstorms are depicted. It looks strange. It looks grainy. The sh the shadows and all that. It looks odd to me. It may be realistic. I couldn't tell you, but it looks simply it looks odd to me. When I see this, this is strange. When I see this, this is actually a bit more plausible. Although again, I realize that we so don't seem to have clouds above us. Uh, compared to the original unmodified uh, version of this, right? So, yeah, I suppose it's um, up to you if you if you like this. Um, oh, here we have a large. Oh, that that that's actually much better. Again, you can see that we seem to have a large uh, hole above us, and I'm not sure if this is something that's caused by by the the settings. It could be. Uh, but here come is a huge front uh, approaching you. Well, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure there may be some modifications in the future. There could be some optimizations that might improve uh, things a little bit under certain circumstances. But um, I think for for the simplicity of this script, there's about ten lines of uh, data ref setting. Um, the general improvement of the way that clouds are drawn, for me, really make a difference. I really find this quite good. And uh, when I looked that we don't actually have rain, so it could well be that uh, there is no, no cloud above us, yeah, because at the moment it's not raining and it wouldn't make sense to have rain when there's nothing on top of you. Uh, where the rain could fall out. That's something that also has improved in X-Plane 12 in general, in the weather generation, that we don't get the phantom rain coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Right, so that's the X-Enhancer. Up to you if you like this or not. Uh, it's for free, it's on the forum. Look for X-Enhancer. And uh, it's very simple, you need Fly with Lua, put it in the scripts folder. Um, and from the moment you start this, this is what it looks like. Until next time.